What's going on, y'all? Vinny Cuz here, and we just got put on blast. Who is we? The Ride Share Garage. Big Jeff, you know, the bulldog of the Ride Share Garage, just texted us in the group chat saying that he put us all on blast. So um, let's check out his video because, man, let's get into it. What up, y'all? This is Jay Watts with Uber Jeep AZ, and I'd like to say welcome to all the new drivers that we're about to get. If you've started over the past couple of weeks or something like that, I'm pretty sure you went online, looked on Facebook real quick and started hunting for a lot of channels. Now that's what happens, right? And he, he's speaking truth to you. If y'all don't know Jeff from Uber Jeep AZ, y'all need to go check him out, subscribe to his channel. This dude is like the blue collar TED Talks guy. Like he will keep you motivated and keep you moving. But step out of line, come off that porch, you got this cat sitting in the yard waiting on you. You're gonna always find the biggest ones. Now there's a reason why some channels are bigger than others. Not that the information is better, but it's just we know, negativity sells. So when you look at the algorithm and you type in negative stuff, you're gonna get a ton of big channels because they sell negativity, a lot of them do. No, he ain't lying there either, cause um, well, we don't had that video. And uh, a grifter is a grifter is a grifter. And believe me, when somebody's spitting hate and, and, and they're coming from a negative place because they done been done wrong or something done went wrong with them, man, and misery loves company. But I digress. Now, if you really want to find the meat and the true grit of what ride sharing delivery is about, you're going to have to go to the smaller channels, the ones that actually still drive and don't. Y'all see that, right? He done put me on blast, Eddie on blast, the driven mom, the driven dad. He, he put, oh, oh boy, here we go. Necessarily sell videos. A lot of us are on these streets driving, making this money, doing the ins and outs in the market we're in, teaching you how to make money in this market. A lot of the bigger channels are usually filled with people who used to drive, people who don't want to drive no more, people who just can't figure out how to get away from driving, and they'll spit a lot of negative stuff. You know I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. You can go and look. I mean, it's not like I'm having some revelation. Go and look. Read through the comments. You're going to see a whole lot of, I used to drive. I can't stand driving. Driving sucks. I'll never drive again. I'm so happy I'm not driving. You'll see that. And here you are entering the market of what you've heard is very lucrative and very flexible. And you can make a lot of money in it. There are small channels that do produce that type of content. I mean, Uber Lyft Phoenix, I was on his channel earlier today and there was a guy who said, hey man, I just started driving my first week. Didn't quite know what to do. I looked at your channel because I heard you were a good driver. $1,700, almost 1,800 bucks in this dude's first week of driving. Now I'm gonna link this video up down below. Y'all make sure you go check it out. He, he, he here, nah. Here's your rideshare TED talk for the week, y'all. 1,800 in his first week of driving. You cannot tell me that these channels are not giving great content. If this dude is following Aaron, who's Uber Lyft Phoenix, following Aaron's page, seeing how he's doing it, the decisions he's making, because we all say how we're doing this, and this guy is pulling out $1,800, you cannot tell me there's not money in, oh, these guys have been driving for, you know, seven, eight years. They can't make more than 850 bucks. Could be their market, could be their lack of motivation, could be the strategy they're using. Because a lot of them come from the era of high surges. Oh, we should get $50 surges all day. We could just sit at the airport, get a $50 surge, go driving. Come back to the airport, sit here, get a $50 surge, go driving. Come back to the airport, get a $50 surge, take off. They used to do that shit all day. That's how it used to be. But when the market... Man, he ain't lying, bro. Back in the day, it used to be like that. It was legit like that. You know, but hey, things ain't the same. They just, they, they just ain't the same. Market changed. That driver didn't change. That driver was stuck on his same strategy. Now there's no $50 surges at the airport. There's $5 surges, $7 surges. That's a $43 difference. $43 times three is over $120 difference per day. You're not getting no more. $120 a day is a lot. 
during a week, if you do that for six days a week, I mean, you're at $720 in a week. You're not getting no more. That's free money. You don't get no you more. Learn, bro. But they're using That's that gone. same strategy, not getting to 720 wondering why they're $720 less than what they used to be. Brains. Brains. You're $720 less than what you used to be because they're not giving $50 surges at an airport where they're putting $7 surges. Brains. I mean, it's not like they hide it, right? When they do their quarterly reports, and I know a lot of people don't want to get into that, but when they do their quarterly reports and their outlook for the next quarter for their investors or prospective investors, they always say what they intend to do. And Uber and Lyft and DoorDash and every Uber Eats and yada, 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 they all said the same thing. They know they're getting more drivers onto the platform, new drivers, uh, um, you know, it's a rotation of drivers, old drivers out, new drivers in for whatever reason, and they're offering less incentives. This is public information. Preach on, brother. A lot of these drivers don't have the brains it takes to make it in this industry, and that's why they fail. And they go to the pages where all the failures are. Oh, I hate Roger. This shit sucks. It's horrible. This, this is where they all congregate to. Now they come on a page about people making money, people who have adapted and changed, like my, my man Vinny says, they do the pivot. Uh-oh. When, when your app's not working out, you got to pivot. If a certain app's not working, go to another app or do something different within the app you're working in. You got to learn how to pivot. A lot of drivers don't have that diversity in thought to say, I need to do something different because they're so used to being that one track minded driver. And they go to these channels where they put that one track mind. I used to make, I used to make, I was making, we were making. That's, they can't say what they're doing now because they ain't doing shit now. They never did the pivot. They got left behind. They're old outdated dilapidated drivers who don't want to drive no more oh, i'm so happy at my nine to five then what the fuck you doing in ride share then this is a <laughs> <laughs> hey boy when i tell you jeff will put it out there uh excuse me jeff will put it out there like that every damn time he's in your face he's honest just a man who done been there high up in corporate america done owned his own business now he's chilling and, and, and relaxing and doing what he wants to do. Same thing with a lot of us. That doesn't, that doesn't belittle the new person coming in or the guy who used to make all that bread two, three, four years ago. But if you stay stuck in the same God darn mentality and don't learn to move with the ebb and flow of the economy, move with the ebb and flow of the apps, and, and he's right. It's a lot of people, they don't even drive anymore. But they're going to tell you, they're going to tell you what you're doing wrong and why you should stop. Yet they ain't paying your damn bills, are they? That's called grifting, y'all. And Jeff, cut it out. Try share channel. What are you doing here? Go to your 9 to 5 channel. I know they got a, a company doing whatever you guys do, a channel doing what you got. Go do that. But they're back in ride share trying to tell drivers like you, the new people, ain't no money in ride share. We got guys kicking out $1,000 days. My man Steven out in L.A., he's an unbroken driver. We got guys kicking out, you know, $600 days. My man up in Detroit, he's down in Austin right now doing door ads. He's going to end up moving down to Austin. A lot of drivers out there making a lot of money because they did the pivot. Where the old drivers stuck on stupid. <laughs> They doing the same shit. The app has changed. The apps don't give us, you know, the apps used to charge a customer, let's say, $12, and they would give us about 70% of the $12, so we'd walk away with like $8, they get like $3.99 yeah, yeah. out of that or something like that. They don't do that shit no more. Now they're charging the, the passengers, they're charging the passengers $18 for that same ride. And instead of us getting $8, we're getting like $6, maybe $8, possibly. But they're taking the rest, the whole other, you know, and what he's talking about there is when I first started, and I've always been part-time, but when I first started, it was 80-20, 80 to the driver, 20 to the company. Now it's it could be all over the place. Sometimes it's uh, you know, 40-60, most times it's 50-50. Um, there are occasions too where it's like 70 to the company, 30 to the driver, and you're oblivious to it. But at the end of the day, that's not your business. What your business is is knowing your worth and deleting the garbage and, and declining the garbage. But I digress. Hit them, Jeff. $12 they're taking up to the 20 bucks, they're taking it all. We don't get the splits, we, so we don't get the tips like we used to get. We're getting upfront fares. You'll learn a lot about upfront fares when you start looking at some of these smaller channels. I won't say larger channels, because the larger channels are going to sell you some bullshit. Look for the smaller channels. You see somebody with 3,000 subs, 5,000 subs, those are the channels you want to look for. They're the new drivers. They're now. 
you see these guys with, you know, 180,000 subs, you might want to kind of, you can look at them like, I know the rideshare guy, that's my man Sergio and Chris, the rideshare guy has yeah, a lot good. of Check they got a out. lot of subs, Check but they out. give good information, they're very analytical guys. I say rideshare guy because these are actual drivers, they actually get out there and drive. Yeah, shout out to Chris and Sergio. And you know, Harry, Harry Campbell, the creator of the Right Share Guy, I mean, dude, he's been around since, well, since I've been around. And I've watched him, what he's done with that, uh, with the Right Share Guy. Listen, it's a lot of great information over there. And, uh, you know, every Tuesday night, it's like 6, 7 o'clock on the East Coast, man. They do a Show Me the Money Club. Y'all need to check them out. Occasionally, they come over to our channel. And, uh, you know, we have some good times with that. Anyway. They're not telling people not to drive. They're telling you how to drive more intelligently. And we have a system going right now. It's called, you know, decline, trash, and no tip, no trip. You guys don't know about that because you're new drivers. So learn about the direction we're moving in. And once you get on board of the direction we're moving in, we, you're now helping us. Because now we're all attacking the apps, attacking the algorithm by declining low rides. And trips that don't, people don't tip on and stuff like that, you know, deliveries people don't tip on, we don't deal with that. We just throw that to the side until they add a little more extra to it. Now, what he's talking about there is uh, the delivery apps. So Uber Eats, DoorDash, et cetera. You know, a lot of times when you get a, a request and if you follow Keys Tracks channel, um, uh, the Phoenix Lyft driver uh, channel, you'll find out that when the, um, when the order comes up, it'll show, uh, you know, tip added or expected tip or something like that, where the uh, person who ordered the food is already included the tip in it so you can make a decision that way. So we know our worth, we know we worth our value and everything. So you guys are new to the equation, but there's a lot of channels you will find out there. They're just, they're dark energy. That's what I call them, dark energy channels. You yeah. get there and they're, Ugh, you're gonna hate ride share. The money's no good. You need to just go get a real job. Turn your app off, don't even, that's. And see, that's another problem, man. Nobody comes to rideshare because they want to make this a full-time job. They get trapped into it because of the benefits of a full or of the flexibility of the apps, right? But and, and another thing, nobody's forced into this. Now, you might be working a job and, and, you know, for whatever reason, the economy's kicking your tail because it's kicking all of our tails, right? It's all jacked up. And you need to make that extra money. And so you turn to a gig app where you think you can pick, you know, you can put in four, six, eight hours a week to try to make that extra money. But you got to know how to work it. But for the most part, people don't come to Uber, Lyft, and et cetera, looking for a full-time job. The gig apps fit into a lifestyle or into a situation that you're already in. You know, I, I hear people say, well, you know, I don't do this much. Um, you know, uh, I, I do it between jobs. Well, why the hell can't you keep a job then? Like, what's the problem there? Are you getting laid off? Uh, are you just doing temporary work? Well, if you're doing temporary work, ain't that a gig? I mean, I digress. That, sorry, y'all. Jeff, sorry. It's dark energy. But yet, they're in ride share. They're in the ride share space with all that dark ass energy, not helping you figure out ways to make money for your family. And that's what the point of YouTube should be. Assistance. Not just constant depression. I mean, you're already depressed with the fact that you had to lose your stable job and now you're in ride share with us. That's probably depressing. You had friends at that job. You had a good position. High hopes. You, you had plans. You had good insurance. You had a lot of shit going with that job. And now you're here with us. But hey, it's not all bad. Trust me. It's a lot of good. You'll see a lot of channels say it's all, oh, it's all bad. This shit's horrible. You're, you're in, a, in hell now. Now you're in hell. You're not really in hell. They're in hell because they never did the pivot. So they were, they deserve to be based on the decisions they fucking made. We're making certain decisions that put us where we deserve to be. And we're doing pretty well. Now, well, what he's saying there is true, right? You, you, again, the ebb and flow of the economy and the ride share gig app space. I get it, man. It's tough. It ain't easy. You're not just going to come out here, turn on the app, make a thousand dollars a day and go home. That shit don't happen. You have to pivot. You have to move with. People say evolve. Well, evolve can be a positive and a negative. But when you pivot, you move with, you roll with the punches. So, you know, just be aware there's no one size fits all in the gig economy. You got to get in where you fit in. You got to make it work for you. Don't work for it. Go ahead, Jeff. I'm sorry, bro.
A lot of us are doing very well. But it's because we made the change. We did the pivot. We had to adapt to the new way the apps were treating us. And now we had to change how we act. We don't just sit around waiting on a $50 surge. The shit ain't coming. These drivers ain't figured it out yet. They're still at the airport. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker gotta come. It's gotta come. It's been three fucking weeks and it ain't came yet. You might want to start driving like how we drive. Still you don't make that money. But they don't, it don't click fast enough for some of these drivers. So what I'm telling you is new drivers, be careful with the information you're seeing out there. That's all I'm saying. Be careful. Look at those channels if you want to. They're pretty entertaining if you like entertaining shit. If you like to see dumb shit, motherfuckers go say, hey, I'm going to go get a $3 order and walk up four fucking flights of steps and jump off and run from a fucking dog. If you like seeing that kind of shit. You know, it was a reason back in the day when I was growing up. Now, I'm an I'm, I'm a 80s kid. I grew up in the 80s, right? Um, but when you would come home from school and uh, you walk in the house and your mom and grandma because uh, back then your daddy was out working. He wasn't He wasn't watching. You know them afternoon drama series, General Hospital, As the World Turns? Yeah, it's a lot of that, man. It's a lot Those of that. Those channels are good for that. But if you're serious and you want to make some money, there's channels out there for that too. You got your entertainment bullshit channels and you got your channels, okay, let's let's get down the, the brass tacks. Let's get this shit done. What, how, how are we doing this? What are we doing? We making money or what? That's the channels that we run. So when you see my channel, mm. you see Vinny Cuz, you see Eddie driving in style, see Follow Keys track, you see the ride share culture, you see Unbroken Driver, see Pedro Dordes Santiago, that's my man from St. Louis. I'll talk more about him at a later date, but for now, trust me, you're going to love his page. Trust me, you're going to yeah, love it. That's all I can straight. say. Everybody's straight, he's talking then about. Then we got my man, you know, like I said, the ride share guy, Sergio and Chris. Check them out. It's actually a site run by Harry. You will hear Harry's name come up every once in a while. So when you deal with Ryshire guy, you're dealing with Harry, Chris, and Sergio. Long story about that. But there are channels out there that's going to help you make money. Go mm. sub the driven mom. Sub the driven dad. Those are the drivens in Colorado. They, they do a lot of gold chasing. Man, I love what driven dad and driven mom are doing. Um, and now they just started a, uh, a, a new program. Y'all need to go over there and check out their channels. Uh, the driven dad, the driven mom. And, and they do some cool stuff and they do a lot of live streaming stuff where they're both out there, uh, out there in the field, in the streets, grinding, setting goals and getting that money. And, uh, you know, they're doing it in Tesla's. And, and so, yeah, y'all need to go check them out, too. Jason, they make a lot of money. Husband and wife team, they do a lot of shit. Music City Hustle, go get them. My other man, Jeff, side gig guy, go chase him down. These are all channels that will help you make money. They ain't gonna bullshit you all day. Oh yeah, we know the apps are screwing with us. We ain't stupid. We're actually pretty fucking smart. But we not gonna sit around going, we can't do nothing. If you don't control it and you say the apps control you, then you're out of control. I believe that I can control my own destiny by doing this. I'm not gonna let the apps control my destiny. If I feel that I can go out and make good money, then I'm going to do it. I'm going to wake up with that energy and I'm going to go do it. I'm not going to wake up, look at somebody's miserable ass YouTube channel and say, well, they're saying there's no money in ride share. They're, you know, they're saying I can't do anything. They're saying that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to make no money. So I guess I'm just going to not turn my app on. They've let the apps control them. They let the apps control their energy. Now they're taking their YouTube fucking channel and controlling your energy. Yo, this is chess. It's not checkers. It's chess. You don't want that. Trust me. That's not going to pay your rent. That's not going to pay for that car in your driveway. It's not happening. So you get out there, like I said, my man Aaron, Uber Lyft Phoenix. If you want to do deliveries, check his channel out. A lot of people out here are going to help you make money. Make sure you sub the right ones. That's all I'm going to tell you. And yo, you know, when, when, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. My man Jeff, big dog, run the yard. That's all I got to say. Check out his channel. Uh, like the video. He's spitting facts. It's just spitting facts, y'all. All right. Peace out.